In this video, I'll show you the best way to learn UI design. To start, review a website you commonly use with a design you like. For this example, I'm using the One Medical website. Start off by analyzing the landing page. Take note of what you think works and what doesn't. The first thing I see on this page is a large headline, which is good. We want to be sure to have hierarchy within our design so that we have a first, second, and third read. If everything is on the same level of hierarchy, then no one will see anything. We also notice a good brand presence. The One Medical logo is in the top left-hand corner, and it's in this forest green, which we see a lot throughout the design, from the heading to the buttons and body copy. We see a clear call to action right away, a button that says, sign up today, or we can scroll down and learn more. You'll notice that that same call to action to sign up today is also repeated in the navigation. This is an important tip for your own website design. You want to think, what is the most important call to action? What is the purpose of this landing page or this website in general? Most of the time, it's to sign up for something, buy something, join. There's some kind of action. So always be thinking about how your design can enhance the experience for the user and draw them to that action. Take note of how the navigation is designed here. A common mistake I see in web design is a really cluttered navigation. The idea is to simplify and only include the most important items. You can always create a sub navigation or use the footer as a secondary navigation. On this example, you'll notice that there's a hamburger menu in the top right hand corner where you can click and see a secondary menu. This is one way you can do it in your designs too. It also helps to have a clear search icon somewhere, either on the top of the navigation or in the footer somewhere, so that if someone doesn't see what they need right away on the landing page or in the navigation, they can quickly search for it. As we scroll down, we get to learn more information about One Medical. It tells us exactly what it is. We know that it's related to healthcare, about getting your personal care. We have this fun animation that flips through different types of illnesses or issues that someone might have, which helps connect with someone because if they see something that they struggle with, then they're more enticed to learn more. Since the main call to action is to sign up and join the One Medical membership, it's very important to educate the user on what is this membership? What does someone get out of it? So this section is especially important and helps break it down. We see these little illustration icons with bite-sized information telling us exactly what we'll get. There's clear language on the cost of the membership and frequency of payment and a button to click and learn more. We scroll down and we see information about their offices. Photography and illustration style will play an important role in your design. Here we get a taste of their photography style. It's very lifestyle. It doesn't look like stock photography. It's very natural and makes you feel comfortable, which is the point with anything medical related. You want to make someone feel at ease, which is what we get by seeing this woman sitting on a couch reading a magazine as she's waiting for her doctor to call her. Scroll down and we get some more logistics about the membership and things that are offered. For example, get 24 seven care right from your phone. So the visual of that is showing someone talking to their doctor on their phone. It's very clear. And if we wanted to, we could read more information, these little bullets that are underneath the heading. But if we just saw the photo, it would be enough to understand the idea. Another important thing to educate someone on is where are these offices located? So we see a map highlighting the 12 metro areas and counting, and also lists to those individual cities so that you could see how many offices are available there. Anytime you're mentioning companies, a great way to show this visually is to show a row of logos. So for example, right here, we're talking about major insurance companies that One Medical accepts. So instead of just doing a list, show the actual logo so that when someone is scanning and glancing, they see, oh, there's my insurance company. But there's also a link to check to see other coverage availability.
more lifestyle photography in the same style. It's very relaxed and has a modern feel to it. There's an option to either check out a personal membership or one for your kids. Here, we're speaking to employers that have a benefit with One Medical, again, using that same idea of showing logos. Here's a good balance of type and image. So we have a large heading, some body copy, and a link, but then we also have an illustration or graphic, whatever you want to call it, on the right. It's important to show things in different ways. So don't always list a bunch of copy. Also think about how your visuals can help tell the story. And at the bottom, which is common, a one last final call to action with a strong statement. Get started with one medical today and two CTAs, membership sign on or four employers. And notice the subtle design decision of the membership sign up being a green button rather than the other one is a white button, but green when you hover over it. This is a very simple and subtle design decision using different colors or an outline or a color, something very subtle to highlight the one call to action that you want a user to focus on. It's the same with comparing the login versus the sign up button in the navigation bar. Last thing I forgot to mention is this announcement bar on the top of the landing page. This is great for when you have an important update that you want people to see right away. Ideally, you don't want to use this too often because if you were to keep the same design up, every time a user comes to your website, they will get used to seeing it and it will no longer serve as an announcement, but instead just fade into the background. So use this design element sparingly. Now the reason for analyzing this landing page design is to learn UI design directly from design that's out there already and working. A designer, probably a team of designers, have worked a lot to create this design. So rather than always coming up with new ideas, take inspiration from what you see on websites you use every single day. If you ever have an experience where you just cannot find what you're looking for on a website, then learn from that. What is it that that website is doing that you wanna make sure you're not doing on your designs? Whenever I find a website I really like, I always bookmark it so that I can review it later. I encourage you to do the same thing. If you want to take it one step further, create a wireframe out of the design. Then you'll really begin to understand how the designer pieced together different elements to create this landing page design. This is why it's important to create your own wireframe kit so that you can quickly put together your own wireframes, including those inspired by other websites. If you want to learn more about how to create your own wireframe kit, I'll leave a link to a video below where I walk you through how to do that. But if you would already rather have one done and created for you to start working with, then I'll also leave a link below to one I've created that you can purchase. As a bonus, I'll include the wireframe of this landing page that I created that you see here. This is just one website example for how you can analyze and begin to learn UI design better. Next, repeat the same process with another website. Analyze the design decisions and create a wireframe out of it to break down the design further and really solidify your understanding of UI design. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. Leave a comment below. What's a new UI design trick that you learned as we analyze this landing page design?